Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to create that text shining effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so we're in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. First off, we're gonna bring a new fusion composition. So let's go to effect, effect here. Let's drag that into our timeline. Now we can go over to fusion. Alright, so we are in fusion. First off, we're gonna bring here a text node. Then we're gonna bring a background node. We're gonna link those two together here with the output of the background linked to the output of the text one. That's gonna create a new merge. And then we can just take that merge and link it to the media out. Now let's just select the background one and then we're gonna click here on that rectangle mask to add a rectangle mask to it. We're gonna make that mask thinner and we're gonna make it a bit higher. This rectangular mask is gonna be our shining effect. So first off, let's just go back to text one and here we're gonna write our text. So Da Vinci here, for example, I'm gonna switch the font for Montserrat and we're gonna leave it here as bold. I'm just gonna increase the size a little bit so we can see clearly what we're doing. Now let's go back to the rectangular mask to create our shining effect. First off here, we're gonna make the edges a bit softer. So it looks a bit more like a shining glow. And here we're gonna adjust the angle about minus 20 or 23, for example. And basically we're gonna use that rectangular mask and animate it so it pass uh, on the entire text to create that shining effect. But now we need to make a new mask to make sure that it's affecting only the text and that we don't have just a full rectangle uh, appearing on the screen. So here we're just gonna select all text one. We're gonna copy it with command C and then we're just gonna right click on our workspace and paste instance. Now we're just gonna link the output of that instance to the merge one. And as you can see now it completely got rid of, of the excess from the rectangle and now we can just freely move the rectangle around within that text. Now let's make another adjustment here to the rectangle by going to background. We're gonna change the color to something like gray. So it's look a bit more like uh, silver. So we're gonna do this like that. And now let's start the animation process. So in a lot of our video, we've used keyframe, but now we've switched to anim curve. So I'm gonna animate all that in anim curve to show you. So here, first off, we're gonna start with the text. We're just gonna do a simple uh, size animation on the text. So I'm gonna select my merge one and I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and I'm gonna bring a new transform node. That's on this transform node that we're gonna do our animation. Now I have the size here, as you can see, I can just right click on it and go down to modify with and anim curve. It unlock here a modifier and we're gonna use that modifier to create our animation. By default it's in transition, switch to duration and here it's gonna be by default in linear, switch to custom. And as you can see now, we have something similar to what we have uh, in the spline editor, but now we're just gonna do it here in the anim curve. Let's add two points. So I'm gonna add a first point here, a second point there, and I'm gonna bring down here uh, the out, making sure that my in is at one and my out is at zero. Now I'm gonna select this first point and I'm gonna put at the in here 0 0.15 and at the out, we're gonna put 0 0.2. Now for the second point here, we're gonna do uh, the in at 0 0.85 and the out at 0.23. Now if we play it, as you can see, we have a simple animation right here. I'm just gonna smooth out a couple of things. So here I'm gonna go back to the modifier. I'm gonna select those two points. I'm gonna hit the letter S on my keyboard, then hit the letter T. And here we're gonna bring the in down to uh, 85. And then we're gonna do the same thing here on the out. So we're gonna select those two points hit the letter S on the keyboard to smooth it out. And now we're gonna bring the out to 85. And now we have a way smoother animation already. Now we're gonna animate the shining effect. So I'm gonna go back to my rectangle one, but here we have an issue is the anim curve. It's gonna be a bit complicated to animate the center because we have two values. So we need to bring it back to a slider value. To do that, we're gonna right click here on center and here in modify with, as you can see, we don't even have the animation curve option because we need to bring that back to a one value and not two values. So let's select a vector result. And now if we go to the modifier, as you can see, we bring that back to a slider and we can now adjust the distance. So that's what we're gonna animate with the anim curve. I'm gonna right click on it, go to modify with anim curve. Now same process, we're gonna select duration. We're gonna select custom and here we're gonna place all points. So first point, second point, 
Now my first point here, I'm gonna bring it here to 0 0.1. The out will stay at zero. The second point we're gonna do 0 0.3. And here the out we're gonna do one. The third point we're gonna do 0 0.7. And here the out at one as well. And the last point here we're gonna do 0 0.9 and the out down to zero. Now if we play it perfect, we got our shining animation going back and forth. Excellent. Uh, if for some reason here in the rectangle, the position doesn't uh, work properly. So here, for example, uh, you don't have the right positioning. You can adjust here with the offset to just move it around easily to uh, make it fit your text properly. If you have like a bigger or smaller text, for example, uh, everything might not be aligned right away. So maybe you need to use the offset right here. And that's pretty much it. That's how you will do that text shining effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.